So CLA is continuing her TikTok live rampage and it's so funny to look at from the outside in. Recently we've had more begs for gifts, more lies and a whole lot of unhinged screaming and outbursts. Which is either because she got banned last week or just the norm. And I think to be honest it's just the norm for CLA. Her lives are just abject horror and it's so weird to see her just swirl further and further down the toilet bowl. <laughs> we got so much to cover so let's actually see why CLA is so unhinged. So hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Jay Baz, we cover the weird and wonderful on the internet and today we're going to be talking once again because it's been a while about CLA and how terrible her TikTok lives are. <laughs> if you don't know who she is, she's a TikTok live streamer that spends 24-7 on there and I'd say she's well known in the UK for her actions and also her personality, we'll, we'll say that. Most notably for her shouting roots at the loudest voice I have ever heard, the lies that she spreads and also the ironic hilarity of some of the stuff she does. Just an example here of what she's like. Carry on banging and I'll send the footage to the council. Uh, I'm live on TikTok. I've got 5,000 people. They know that I'm in the housing. They know all this is being recorded just to let you know. Roots, this is what this country's come to. This is what the country's come to. Uh, people are annoyed at the fact that she's screaming at the top of her lungs while People are trying to get the day done. So it's been a few weeks and I've missed a lot. So I think it's only right that I bring you through this torture that I have had to sustain in the past couple of days by exposing myself to all of it. There's so much here and it's either actually really funny or just so funny stupid and there doesn't seem to be any in between. So let's start with a good old outburst and I think the reason why this has happened is because she got banned a couple of days ago and it's kind of put her on the rails a little bit. So this is going to be a great reminder of what she's like. But I'm going to remind you what you should do if you like. If you enjoyed please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. I'm going to the news. I'm going to the newspapers because I'm famous now so roots. I'm going. Maybe it's because she got hair done last week. I don't know but uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know why she says it all the time. And I don't think you need to go to the papers. Uh, if you need anything paper-like, probably some tissues to wipe up all the spit that you've just thrown out by screaming roots. I'm going to the news. I'm going to be on this morning. I'm going to f tell the whole f UK what they've done to me and this and that. And I'm going to make a stand as a TikToker. Go f Yourself. With such an elegant and beautiful uh, choice of words that she has, I don't think she's ever going to end up on this morning, but uh, I've seen weirder things happen. But she's feeling victimised, she's feeling blamed, and I wonder why, I wonder why. As I said, it's because she got banned, and I think she's uh, losing the plot a little bit because of this. As a TikToker, go f*** yourselves with your protests and all your b****. Now you're going to see Chelsea Leo and watch this. Roots. I'm going. Everyone that's got my address, police know who you are because I've had to tell them. So anyone that's even seen the address, or oh, oh, they know who you are now, yeah. I'm not sure that's how it works. I don't think you're a mind reader, CLA. And I think if you were a mind reader, you'd probably be off the app now, wouldn't you? But yeah, this injustice and terribleness that she's feeling, it's because she got banned, uh, and also because preceding that, she ended up getting doxxed, which we'll cover. Uh, it's a bit weird. It's kind of like the elf of the timeline. She's just doing it a week later. Like, she's just got to try and one-up her, but obviously, the fact that she's gaining so much attention and traction now because of the fact that she got banned for doing this stuff, and the reason why she was banned was because she was saying some horrible things, some quite horrible things about people. Say they're going to cave your skull in and stuff like that. And like with all TikTokers, it's never their fault, is it? For once again, people are breaking the rules. If I was doing it, I'd be blocked. But for some reason, because they're not famous, they're all right. Because they don't work for TikTok like that. They're not under TikTok. So there you go. Yeah, the reason why you're getting banned and other people are getting banned is definitely because of the fact that you're famous and that you do a graph for TikTok. Yeah, they definitely want to ban their best creators. I'm not very sure with the logic, but I uh, respect the arrogance. It's quite actually fascinating. Like, bring it on. I'll go, I'll, we'll have a war, sweetheart. Report uh, sleeping on live because she shouldn't be sleeping on live. She's reported me loads of times, darling. So, yeah, report sleeping on live. It's against the rules and she'll be blocked. 
There's Elf Ubergon. She seems to give multiple reasons why she's been banned uh, And as you see here, she's mentioning the fact that, oh, it's because I was sleeping on live. Well, uh, yeah, you are sleeping on live, CLA. It is against TikTok Terms of Service. You did get banned because of that. So uh, keep vibing. It's literally like toddler mentality. Like they all should be banned if they're doing stuff that's that drab and boring. But like, why? Oh, I, I've got to have the same as them. Newsflash, the world isn't that consistent. But do you know what else isn't actually consistent? The theories around how she got banned because she switches it up. I've just got blocks, yeah? for violence and criminal whatever he's saying and i've lost my appeal or whatever because they make me react and say things and and you know i'm fuming with what's going on on this app they make me react and say things not not me not me not what i've done it's not what i've said it's what they did so the reason is flip-flapped in about 24 hours so the reason is now because of you you're the reason. All these people making videos on me, they're, they're asking for it. They're making me do this. To be honest, Chelsea, I just think you're a little bit too far up your ass. You need to pull yourself back. Yeah, I'll say I'll pull your other head off you. I don't mean it. It's just that you've just made me say that. So no one gives a shit. Darling. Say who does give a shit, TikTok, because they've just banned you. I mean, it doesn't matter the intent. It, whether the intent is there or not, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that you actually said it. I bet an employee at TikTok just like opened up the app one day and just scrolling through and managed to find her and got absolutely mortified. You know, and to be quite honest, right now, if I want to put myself back on benefits, I can. Well, there's a little distinction that I thought you might want to know here. So if you are on benefits, uh, you can't have, I, I believe it's like £5,000 worth of savings. So considering she goes on about, she's earning 40 grand a week, uh, I don't think she actually could get on benefits you know someone might want to tell her that before she gets on the plunge you know but i actually don't let her finish her lives first because i'm actually in unfit to work and you know everything that i'm going through on this thing as well i leak my address this that da, 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 every day uh bullshit people hating on me people making videos saying i'm not going to america da, 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 da. it's all Stalin. So yeah, she got doxxed uh, and it's really weird because it, it kind of reminds me of the Elphaba timeline in that Elphaba actually did this a couple of weeks ago. I feel like Chelsea is just trying to, you know, one-up the scabs that are on TikTok. It's like proper toddler mentality, innit? It's like, well, uh, if you're having that ice cream, I want the ice cream. You're getting doxxed, I've got to get doxxed twice as hard. This happened a couple of days preceding, people started showing up to the door and uh, she ended up calling police. Oh, see, I'm really Like, I'm laughing, but it's obviously such a terrible situation for her. People shouldn't be doxing her. Uh, this came with the same sort of thing with Elphaba. Why are people doxing her? Why are people taking their time to make this loser even more prevalent on the platform? Because doing something like that is only going to bring more attention to the live stream. And it's not in a constructive way. It's just some kids shouting roots on the outside of the door. And <laughs> what, what, why are you wasting your time? So she heard this, slightly laughed about it. And then the Grinch decided to ruin Christmas by uh, calling the police. In the police. Sorry, I just noticed... <laughs> That's a handbag. She's got a she got phone case as a handbag. I'm actually so perplexed. With that chain on it, she's actually a thief's dream. Oh uh, hi, um, I'm Chelsea Leon, Leon Feely. Uh, yes, please hold on, uh, yeah, I need to report the fact that someone's screaming outside my house, and I'm TikTok okay, famous. Please. Oh yeah, police. Oh, hi, darling. I'm TikTok famous and I'm on live now. And I'm so she picks up 999 and she's like, I I'm Chelsea Liar. Oh, yeah, Chelsea, how are you doing, mate? They're only trying to, you know, save lives, stop crime, that sort of thing. Stop fires, you know, th this standard stuff. I'm not sure they're listening to your TikTok whilst driving at 70 mile an hour to get to an emergency. But then, come on. Hi, I'm TikTok famous. <laughs> hi, you're a and I'm on live now and I'm sat in my property and I've got people screaming outside my house and it's all recorded on my live. I'm Chelsea Leon, uh, also known as Leanne Feely. Um, I'm live now, so please don't want to say my address, but they've leaked my address anyway. But um, yeah, so I'm just saying, you know, I've got someone now screaming outside my house, threatening whatever. Um... Threatening whatever because they didn't threaten you, Chelsea. But, uh, you know, like, it's such a sh 
shit situation, but she just makes it so much worse without her even trying as well. It's all on live officer, so I'm just making you aware because I live in my block. Um, there's children. Do you want police, you want police to attend? <laughs> Well, if they're going to carry on screaming, because, you know, obviously I've got neighbours that are going to be hearing all this. Um, I live in quite a nice area, so... I'm sure you live in a very nice area, don't you? But the fact that she's like, oh, my neighbours are going to be up hearing this. Oh, it's not like you literally created one of your famous catchphrases on the fact that these neighbours were having a go at you because you were being too loud. Irony is never lost on this lovely woman. Okay. Uh, I'm Root Starlings on TikTok. If you can watch my live, you can see me on there because I'm live on the actual. I've got 3,000 people watching me now. But I'm okay, so. What's your name? Leanne Feely. Like, what's your location? Oh, I, I'm on TikTok live. If you just go on and watch me, uh, it'd be 3,001. I've got 3,000 feet live viewers, you know. Like, I'm sorry, but how embarrassing is all this? What is going on? Why am I here? Why Why does she peddle this? Why is she TikTok live? Why, why is it going on? Oh, people like this actually scare me because I'm really worried about the idea that there's something bad going on in the world and they really, really need emergency attention. And you've got the green sat on tiktok live saying that she's got 3,000 viewers trying to get a brand new viewer maybe maybe the emergency responder will actually donate to her the fact they deal with such stressful calls i think something like this would definitely tip them over the edge and the fact she had no intention to share her address because obviously she's tiktok live why would you do it in the first place why would you call up what what are you going to try and achieve? They can't get to you. They don't know where you are. And the idea of ringing 999 to flex on someone that is just trying to do the job. It sounds very fitting for you, Chelsea. But because she's so famous, like so stupendously famous, like so famous that even you don't even think about it. Like you don't even realize the kind of levels that she is. She keeps getting stopped in the streets here, there and everywhere. And she, she needs to calm down. And the fake paparazzi here gets humbled. Chelsea? Yes, darling. Can I get an autograph, please? Oh, I don't have time for this, sweetheart. A bitch like me's got shit to do. Number one in the UK. Roots. Know what time it is. That freeze frame there, that is stuff of nightmares. Brilliant new humble flex about the fact that you've got a Lamborghini Urus, like a 200 grand car, whilst you're living in the area you are. That's also definitely not where she lives. She's going to be going on benefits, but a week earlier, she was doing fake photo shoots with the paparazzi whilst in a 200 grand car. Uh, well, it's definitely a rental, in it. And to be honest, I've never seen her in a car before. Does she even drive? But it's definitely not a car. And the reasons why will become evident throughout this video. And now, like you probably, I want a break from the flexing, so uh, let's see a uh, sufficient humbling. Do you think my food will be done? Do you think it's gonna be done? Look at the absolute beauty of this kitchen of someone who is definitely on 40 grand a week. Who needs cupboards when you could just have holes in the wall? Ow! <laughs> Next time, Chelsea, uh, just a warning. If you've got one hand that has the stuff that protects you from the hot on, okay, and you've got one hand that doesn't protect you from the hot, don't put both hands on. Put the one that is protecting the hot. I just had to try and simplify it, you know. I, I didn't want her to get confused, but that wasn't the only food-related incident that went terribly wrong again. It's all going down. No. No. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Sufficiently humbled. What I really want to know though is what is going on here? What what food is that? <laughs> it looks it looks grim. Looks like an amalgamation. Have you ever seen like the Christmas tinners? Uh, like it, lo it looks like that. Or maybe even like plastic toys from like them kitchens that you can get for like two year olds. Oh sh. Now that is class. One thing I've learned today is that if I ever do go on a date with CLA, uh, don't drop any food on her because uh, 
I, I don't want to see that again. Taking the five second rule a little bit, literally. So she's done, finished, gonzo. She's done, she's out. But it also seems that she's out of the TikTok competition. So if you haven't heard about it last year, the end of last year, there was like a big TikTok gift battle where everyone was begging for gifts. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Like an absolute beggar fun. But CLA was in it and she came second, I believe. Uh, and it was like the top creators in the certain categories, they ended up going to uh, America because of the fact that they won. It was like the trip for winning, for being the biggest beg, which is embarrassing in itself. But Chelsea Lear has always been bragging about the fact that she's gonna be going to America and seeing this. And there was an event in Barcelona last week because of the fact that everyone was going to get together before this America trip and see each other in Barcelona. And, well, she wasn't invited. And you can only wonder why she wasn't invited. Could it potentially be the fact that she was never going in the first place? Well, you know, CLA, you chat all this sh about being the hot stuff and being super famous. So why wouldn't you be able to go to a trip that you've said a million times that you're going? At this point, I feel like she's just going to show up in America just out of brutal spite. Know that I'm a special celebrity, so I'm not going with you guys on the plane. I've already told TikTok that. They're looking out for me. They've already told me not to tell you. F Oh, sweet. TikTok told me that I'm too famous to go on a play with you. You're on you're the easy jet. You get on the easy jet. I'm in business class. There is no way in the world that TikTok have said to her, oh, yeah, Chelsea Liar, you're a little bit too famous for everyone else. We're going to have to humble everyone else for your sake. Just get in the fucking bin, man. Stop lying. Do you want me to send a message to TikTok now and get them to send me um, something to show you that I'm going to America? Do you want me to? Yeah, please do, but you won't, will you? Because it's not true. So I've just messaged them saying, can you send me proof that I'm going to America? Because um, apparently everyone's got their tickets. So that's what I've just said to them. You can see the humbling in her face, can't you? You can, she knows it's over. So I've just messaged them saying, can you send me proof that I'm going to America? because um, apparently everyone's got their tickets. TikTok said to me, don't tell no one you went to America, and they said that there's other creators that have been trying to report you. So we know who they are probably. Uh yeah, they definitely said don't tell everyone, and that's why you've gone and told everyone about a million times on your live, and the we know who's been reporting you. Uh, apparently. Well, apparently, Chelsea Liart, you were just about to get banned and you're also lying. I just don't understand it. I don't understand why... Well, I kind of get it with these people because they're on it 24-7. They're always doing it. It's always going to be there for them. But I don't understand why you would stoop down to this sort of terrible level just to... Uh, I, I don't even know. What, what are you achieving by lying? You want a pat on the back? You want a scratch? What is the actual benefit of just making sh** up? <laughs> tell me tell me in the comments please i don't understand and speaking of making things up we got a big one here so uh, cla thinks that Nicki minaj is copying her and that was a sentence that you would never ever think of hearing in your life i couldn't believe it sweetheart Nicki minaj is copying me Nicki minaj knows who i am Nicki minaj is copying a sister go and look at her latest videos where she's rocking the headscarf with the flowers so you know when I, i'm always rocking my headscarf with the flowers the gucci it's like the gucci one and she's got the flowers and she's rocking the scarves she never used to rock scarves like this Nicki minaj is copying chelsea lior root starling she is getting inspired from a like me because don't forget she's american she might be richer but she still hasn't got this arabic style going on so i know what time of day arabic style a uh, gucci bow i think that's a new one but I, i'm just i'm just pissing at it I, imagine imagine how up your own backside you have to be to think that someone like that is going to be doing even knowing you in that capacity at all. Do you really think that Nicki Minaj is sitting scrolling through TikTok at three in the morning and she manages to see someone like you with a headscarf on and she thinks, I need that. Do you also think you're this fashion trendsetter? Because I see some of the stuff you're wearing and uh, it, it it's beggar's belief. I don't think you've created a style other than embarrassment on TikTok Live and you've you've created that style perfectly and it's working fine and you've got very good copycats like El Fubba, but like, come on, 
Come on, CLA. Be, be real. Be real for once. So I can trust you, this isn't a slayer. This is the thing. Oh, yeah, I know you've come to London, whatever. She went to the ends, man. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, she doesn't know about style like me. Know what time it is. I told you these people. But she is getting inspired by me. Nicki Minaj, I'm the one that's rocking the f***ing headscarves, darling. You are not starting no fashion, darling. It's me that's been wearing them motherfucking scarves and everyone's copying me and my fashion darling why is she just shouting at Nicki minaj having a go at her for wearing a headscarf now like i'm the trendsetter and now you're mad that someone else is using it remember what she said arab headscarf so surely if they are arab headscarves that would mean that they're the people who have invented this fashion and therefore you're not the person what am i doing I i'm trying to like break down just utter nonsense like why would i try and analyze that where am i going what am i achieving nothing it's just bullshit but at least i now know there's nothing floating in that head it's just it's just vibes in it but we know full well how she gets all these gucci headscarves it's uh because she does stuff like this what's your plan call on tiktok if you lot don't get your cash out i'll be going in five minutes right i'm fucking going what about that sweetheart off skis. Saying this as she's getting donated a gift. What what a prick. Remember when she was like, it's my fans causing me to do stuff like this. Well, uh, aren't you just inciting just people to be angry at you because you're doing shit? like this like how embarrassing do you have to be she does this now every single week and i uh, come on man like have a bit of class to you to say that you think you're so fucking classy you act like this it's just oh shove it shove it where the sun don't shine and really these lives just age like milk don't they and i'm not coming back watch i'm not even bothering to come back done out of this app sweetheart i'm too famous darling i can make money doing other Darling, I don't need to beg it up on TikTok now. Now I'm a famous bitch. Doing other shit like going on benefits. Just what are you chatting? What are you spouting? What are you trying to achieve? What? Where is it coming from here? Like, just being a pretentious asshole. is that what people actually do by donating now? Is, is that the reaction that you want? Is that how you want to spend your money? Like, if you're that kind of person, someone tell me, please. If you're that kind of person, like, how... How? Do you just like get off to aggression? What? <laughs> what? And this is my job now. This is what I do to get paid, man. So no one gives a fuck, sweetheart. I'll turn all the comments off as well. No one's even commenting now. That's it. Literally toddler mindset. I, if I don't get my own way, I'm going to make it harder for you to get to me. Like, come on. After this outburst as well, do you think that she quit? Well, considering I've shown you every single clip is past this point that I've already shown you. No, no, she didn't quit. We're just gonna have to go down and sit and cry uh, because we're never gonna get rid of her. Not even a ban could stop it. Like, we're finished. We're all fucking finished. But the problem is with this begging is that uh, it doesn't seem to be working for her because uh, she, uh, card declined. My card? Yeah. Thank you. Look at the abject or in her face. She knows full well there is zero pounds on that account. Do it again. Oh god, the card's declining, guys. Can you believe this? <laughs> like... Yeah, to be honest, Chelsea, I can believe that. Uh, I mean, you've been begging all this time. You've been spending so much money on everything in your house and everything around you. Uh, it's bound to happen, in it? Because once again, we'll get it straight. You do not make 40 grand a week. Legit, a better chance of her being an astronaut. But I don't know if you noticed the beautiful glasses that she was wearing, but uh, she's bought these recently and uh, they're a big flex, aren't they? And God, like, I how am I only halfway through, like, the past things in the past two weeks? She, she just constantly, like, she's so unhinged. Famous! TikTok and we don't stop. We'll have all the billions of views. Yeah, don't mess with me, sweet. I'll get my camera out. I've got millions of followers. Imagine. It just just imagine looking like this, right? And acting like this in public. And just oh the, the second hand embarrassment that I have, I'm shaking in my chair. Honestly, this is stuff that you just don't see in real life. Like these are actually the clout chasers of the next generation. This is what we're meant to expect now. This 
this is life. When you all grow up and you all start having kids, they're all going to be like her. And uh, how does that make you feel? Personally, going celibate. Make more money than heart surgeons. All right. Absolutely. Imagine all you dusty guys, man. You don't make money like me. You don't have real rich people coming in for you like me. A bitch like you is not me. You don't make money like me. Hello, gorgeous. We can all learn a lesson here because we might not all make money like this tripe, but, uh, well, we've all got our you know, sentiments and stuff that we enjoy, and we're not all losers. And at this point, I kind of don't understand whether this whole CLA thing is an act. Is it potentially just this massive convoluted act that we're all in on for the joke, or is it a real person? Like, is this actually how she exists but with all this clout and all this money you'd wonder how is she getting a card decline how the fuck is that happening and it's probably for stuff like this she's constantly once again the grinch is back and thriving she is constantly getting new stuff like she bought a perfume because it said dubai on it i thought i'd get this because it said dubai and i was like oh darling and it was 22 pounds but because it says dubai I want it to check it out. So is this like El Fubba with Wicked? Like she's just that obsessed? Is she? Does she want to go to Dubai? Is this the kind of thing? I don't think she'd last five minutes in Dubai, but with her kind of mouth as a woman. I've got a great idea, guys. Let's all get together. Let's uh, let's start a GoFundMe and we'll get her to Dubai because uh, I really want to see what she does there. I'm f joking do not spend one penny on her all right please please but my big question would be what would a multi-millionaire do if they had all the money in the world that like you said 40 grand a week they're earning uh what what kind of things would they get up to what what stuff would they buy well they're buying dubai perfumes for 22 pound and now the tile in the floor because obviously if you are a multi-millionaire you can afford anything in the world you want to be in this kitchen which is actually quite surprisingly small for a millionaire and you want to be sticking tiles down don't you yeah that's definitely what you want to be doing no you get someone to do it for you wouldn't you and you, and you wouldn't get these sort of tiles what what even are these look more like bathroom tiles than they do kitchen tiles they don't even fucking fit as well she's gonna have to like do some trickery here with this one you know full well as well that there is a definite gap like there is just one dirty gap there <laughs> but i mean at least she's getting a kitchen done all right there's not a lot of us that are getting their kitchens done because we're not famous we don't have 40 grand a week but she also manages to spend her money very wisely doesn't she um such as getting her lips done <sighs> Back, but she said to me, I'm not going to give you Botox because you don't need Botox. So there we go. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I've had all them little injections. All over my face. I've had all the injection. The review. Uh, re oh, sorry. Not a lips because the lips are too good. My bad. My bad. It's just the cheeks. Uh, I'm not hating on anyone who gets this sort of stuff done. I think it's perfectly fine. You do what you want to do with your body. But uh, the fact that you're doing all this stuff and then spending it like you are when you're putting tiles on manually by yourself in a tiny kitchen... Uh, I don't know. I just think she's not the best spender, all right? But, I mean, who is? I, I'm terrible with it. I, I went out 20 minutes ago and I just went to get a packet of crisps. Like, I am a weirdo. But the thing is with Celia, it always comes down to money with her. Like, how much money am I getting? Uh, and she lies about it. And once again, why would you lie about it? But it's always down to that. It's so superficial. I would hate to be in a position where I'm around people that are like that. I've never been a money infested person uh, it doesn't really do things to me i'd rather create i'd rather enjoy myself i'd rather actually considering what she does be a pretty good entertainer and i'm trying my best and you see people like this who are very much they're, they're not earning 40 grand a week but they're earning quite a few thousand pounds they're definitely earning above like a normal wage doing stuff like this on tiktok live and it really makes you question your actions doesn't it but a bit you're sat at home and you're like i should probably be a twat on tiktok live now, i'm gonna get a couple of grand and this is the thing you put these terrible people into these massive positions and now they're at the point that they're so big 
they're, they're kind of unstoppable. Like, they're always going to get thousands of viewers, whether people like them or not. And they're just going to keep begging for gifts and being the worst form of creator on any app. And what, what does that say about our future? Where are we going? I don't know. But there definitely is one thing I do know about CLA and that uh, she's got some cheek around money. I should have a wish list and then you could have ordered it for me, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm so bad. I've got Amazon, but... Right, let's have a look a second. Your orders. I've ordered a, a wardrobe thing. Like, how entitled do you have to be to be in a position where you're even joking about that? Oh, you could have bought me. <laughs> Piss off. Like, how can this be your only gimmick? The fact that you shout stuff on TikTok Live and the fact that you beg for money. Like... What kind of famous person is that? We need a new name for these type, new type of influencers. Uh, like, the bottom of the barrel influencers that will just do this stuff again and again. And then I can't even be asked showing it, but she shows the different sort of stuff that she's got on her wish list. Uh, just, just a subtle hint. And it's just traumatic at this point. Like, my, my brain has gone. Like, I went for a walk because my head had gone looking at this shit. And I've come back and uh, my head has gone again. Like, I I'm off the rails. I I'm going to be shouting roots any moment. So you know what I need? What's going to brighten up the day? Uh, another downfall. <laughs> because, I mean, there haven't been enough in two weeks, has there? there? There hasn't been enough. I already haven't shown you enough. They're all underneath me. Not one of them is famous like me. Not one of them. But they're all up my absolute bunder. Yes, darling. You're definitely not the one that's absolutely up your own bunder, are you? And it ain't no joke. I've been around too many real f***ing G's, darling. No, you're not a G. Disgrace, darling. I'll report you all to the police. Roots. Uh, I believe that you're f following me as well. What's her obsession with the police at the moment? Like, <laughs> why, why is she obsessed with them? Maybe the fan that she ended up creating by calling them has now just started to become a thing. Maybe the police just want to hear about it because of her amazing takes and uh, uh, the, the brilliant stuff that she wastes 999 calls on. Yeah. No one likes you on TikTok anyway. Jealousy. Yeah, they're jealous. These people have tried everything to turn you all against me. Whoever's been watching me from day one know what time of day it is. I fucking respect EQ more than any of these Stalin. You can't say that you're respecting someone after chatting ch about them the entire time. But she never sees this CLA for some reason. She never looks past the veil curtain and realises what she's doing and the problems that she's causing on TikTok Live. So when she does this and then she gets banned and she's like, what's going on? Where, where am I? Like, they, it, what? Once again, I'm trying to justify just nothing that I can actually justify. They, it, she's just a twat. Like, and I mean, I know I'm saying this and if I saw her in person, I would be fucking well scared of her because uh, she seems like a brutal force. But I mean, come on. Like, you can be better than this, see you later. Um... I, I just think you need to leave the app, really. You got banned for a reason. Maybe just uh, take it as a hint. And I mean, I am scared of her. Well, uh, especially after this. I had like about 76 criminal convictions. But, um, but like, I was under 18, so it gets dismissed when it gets to 18. But that was because I was in care. Because I was in the system and I was in care. 76 convictions. So if you want to go and talk, talk about that, darling, because I'm a real f lunatic. Chatting you. I've lived all over the UK, darling. I've been in the system. That's why I'm trying to help the kids. Do you understand, Oaks? There's so much to unpack there. You know, she tells a lot of lies, but I think this one was a little bit too believable. But why did she say, I'm trying to help the kids at the end? Like, how are you helping the kids in any way? You're only trying to suck their money out of them. Like, what? What are you doing? But I have no doubt she's a real G. Like, maybe in an Ali G way. But, you know, that kind of way. Because uh, she's a bit of a gimmick. But, you know, I've done this amount of video. Uh, and I'm kind of wanting to turn off the camera and run away at this point. Am I going to get battered? But it really does make you think, though, about her as well. That she's saying she grew up in care and stuff like that. And she's ended up coming up from nothing and she always says that she's come up from nothing and it would really make you question the fact of why is she so entitled why why is she such a stuck-up prick what why would this come out of it if you have come from the bottom and built your way up i i don't understand that at all it might explain the flexing but it doesn't really explain anything else and a perfect example of her being stuck up because i mean i haven't shown enough of her doing that have i let's be honest uh 
she uh, decided to go to the gym and she uh, decided to give a bit of a review. They didn't even show me around the gym as well. So you sign me off for the gym without even showing me around the gym or this or that. Get out of here, man. I'm not, I'm not being nice no more. All these people, they're all scammers. So a gym's scamming you because they won't show you around. Well, uh, did you ask? Problem is, she's gone to a public gym where people normally have to ask to get stuff like that. There's no way she went around with like, how do I do that? any of this? And and uh, they told her to f off. No, that didn't happen. She probably just ignored it. I can't believe the gym, man. How the gym is so noisy like that. They've got the class on and the whole gym and it's like 100 miles an hour. I went in there, I was so stressed. I was like, I'm going, is this a gym? I said, I've got to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm affected, I'm stressed. Have you ever been to a gym? Do you know how a gym works? It's kind of the point. You drown out the pain with music. That That's literally it. Like, come on. Come, come on, CLA. Uh, the, the fact that she even manages to moan about this. Like, if you really have a problem, you go to either a very expensive gym where there's too many equipment and machines compared to the amount of people in there, or you decide that you want to go private and you do your own gym. If you're earning 40 grand a week, mate, literally just go and buy like a warehouse and fill it out with them you can't really get princess treatment in a gym and uh i, I don't think anyone's going to be showing you it the levels of entitlement is just crazy like crazy like put some headphones in what what do you expect the noise of a gym to be do you expect it to be a fucking library so that is insane like to me that is insane the, it's just uh, how many more clips do you want of her doing that? I think I've proven my point in this video, but uh, I, what I haven't proven my point about is her lies. Uh, I don't think I've proven that she's lied enough, so uh, let's see another example of that. And <laughs> the way that she does this, come on. I don't know, man, if I should go. Because I've got such bad uh, neck pain, and um, I don't know if I should or not. Just... Just feel a bit under the weather today. I mean, I'm looking forward to going to the doctors. Hopefully the doctors. I hope my legs are somewhat minor. You know, like just fucking, you know, but I hope it's nothing to do with my tooth because that's syphilis. So if I've got an, an infection under my tooth, yeah, and if it's cons- Well, I don't know if you know, but uh, syphilis is it's not sepsis. It's definitely not sepsis. It's an STI, yeah. Uh, it's more likely that Elphaba would have something like that. Sorry, that that's- uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's so bad. I don't mean it like that. I mean it in that it's like a middle-aged disease. There's not many people that get it nowadays. Uh, you know, she's got scabies, which uh, I haven't seen since the 1800s. So, you know, it's that kind of thing. But the two thing that she's on about happened weeks ago. And surely she'd have realized if it's something majorly bad. But she's also done this multiple times where she's gone on TikTok Live, said she's really ill. Ended up wasting hospital time when she's fine. Like, she's just a little bit melodramatic, potentially. And I just don't get it. I don't get why you're such a hypochondriac all the time around these situations you could really do with just a little bit of a reality check cla but i mean not just on that aspect and every single moment of your life because you are constantly just trashing everything she's constantly a problem and uh, it doesn't stop and especially in public it's like she's got absolutely no filter no matter where she goes she's always trying to cause problems or just being an issue for the sake of being an issue and it's so infuriating to watch and the perfect example of what happened in this sort of scenario is this one once and the stitching's all gone funny uh, where the legs are put it in the washing machine on just a 30 hour i always wash all my okay. stuff i'm on my live tiktok i'm on my live tiktok uh yeah i've got uh can you I don't particularly want to be on TikTok. No, no. Did you just see her internally screaming, trying to say how many thousands of followers she's got? I don't particularly want to be on TikTok. No, no, you're not. It's just on the ca uh, the camera's on me. It's not okay, on... Okay, but I don't want to talk on TikTok, sorry. Well, why not? It's a public shop. And, like, it goes on and she does 
end up leaving, but uh, not because she wants to, it's because she can't end the live. And come on, Mike, how many times? I've seen like 20 instances of this, and the latest one that happened was in the hospital where everyone was telling her to stop recording because she's in A&E and there's loads of people with very bad problems that need addressing and she didn't care, she had no filter. And this woman just doesn't want to be recorded and her response, it's a public place. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's a shop. It's a public shop, that's right. Right, but you can't be going in and filming work staff of people. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's illegal, actually. Or at least illegal when your intent is to be a massive asshole. And she just refuses every single time, whenever she gets in these situations, to just accept, oh, well, maybe someone doesn't want to be TikTok famous like you. It's always excuses. It's always trying to bat it down the road. It's like, I, I've got so many followers. And then when people are like, I, I really don't want to be projected in front and you could be a bit of a loose cannon she turns into that loose cannon and it's embarrassing the worst thing is that she was asking for money back again and it's because she bought a dress too small and she has uh, broken the stitching in it so um if you're earning one just for the oh for the 47th million time if you're earning 40 grand a week don't worry about a dress that you've ruined because you got it too small but this type of tiktoker with elphaba and cla at the moment these two are the cornerstones of what not to be as an influencer they are the first and only examples i've seen of people that are just so stupidly outlandish it's embarrassing and like i've seen people in the past like you saw it with logan paul where they go and do this stupid stuff end up in the uh um the unalive forest and then get in trouble because of it and it was like the odds video but now because we've got tiktok lives people are doing this all the time and just causing a stir i think it started with like i don't know ice poseidon when he was doing irl streams and now he's still doing them but on kick with like jack doherty and just being twerps but i've never seen it to this level i've never seen like an amalgamation of lies of consistent staying online to spite everyone the the begs like I, i've never seen anything like it like I, I've honestly, these these two are the first people I've ever seen do anything like this. And it's constant and it keeps going. And the worst part about it is that nobody's banning them. Why are TikTok doing anything about it? Why are they just letting this go on and just keep as is? I don't have one iota of reasoning about it because TikTok really should be moderating their platform. And I mean, they have because they banned Elphaba and they banned CLA multiple times in the past. But like, if you do that on YouTube and you get a ban, you can't go back to it like there's very few people that have been banned on youtube and managed to actually be able to come back because once your channel's terminated under your name you finished you can't start a new channel in your name meanwhile on tiktok it seems they get banned for something ridiculous and they'll just start up a new tiktok and because of the way the algorithm works they'll just end up right back in front of the same people so it's not effectively a ban it's a slap on the wrist like what what is that going to achieve and what is that going to do with these fame hungry great losers that sit on the dredges of the tiktok internet and they just cause problems and the worst thing that annoys me is that people are giving them money like what the f are you doing and the majority of the people that actually give them money are either people who are very young and don't understand that this is not how you want to be like see you later saying that she's got to be i, I want to be an impression to the kids you are an embarrassment to everyone who is human yet alone a child so they're going to be either a child or they're going to be someone who is doing it because they want the attention of this person and to me that doesn't make fun sense either why would you do that why would you pay for someone to get angry at you like it's the weirdest concept in my mind i just don't understand it i want them to stop earning banks so they can piss off and disappear because this kind of influencer is the worst and it's only gonna get worse over time as we've seen with these two how many more issues are they gonna cause before someone checks them we don't know and it's probably never gonna happen is it i, I i'm i'm thinking of the wrong thing it's actually never gonna happen so yeah i've exposed this cla as uh, once again someone who's just begging for gifts and begging for fame and consistently just being up their own ass and they they don't understand that it, everyone else isn't looking at them like that get all the fucking tiles you want cla get go do everything go get your lip filler go get your 
life done. But just remember, your TikTok end is coming and it's near. Hopefully, hopefully. But what do you think? Please do let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like and sub. I've been doing these past two have been quite longer videos. I want to kind of keep it that way uh, with these sort of stuff because it's great to get fucking clips. It's so easy because there's so many events that happen. But uh, yeah, tell, tell me what you think. I've been Jake Vaz and I'll see you later. Take care.